Hi, this tutorial is going to walk you through using ChatGTP to get the content that we need for Project 1. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to ChatGTP. If you have not been here before, you are going to create an account. Go, go into the sign up page right here where you will enter your uh, information and create uh, your account. It is completely free. Uh, once you have created your account, you're going to log in. And once you have logged in, you will be brought to a screen that looks like this. For your project, you are going to be creating a poster that uses design theories and practices to help you with the layout. However, we need to get the content of the poster from somewhere. Traditionally, designers use lorem ipsum text. This is simply, as this page tells you, dummy text of the printing and typesetting industry. It's pretty much the default that what people use when you want to focus on layout and not necessarily focus on the words. Uh, but I thought for our project, for our purposes, it might be fun to use ChatGTP. It'll get us to play around with it a little bit and we can generate some text for that. Now, for our project, I'd like you to create content that gives a historical approach to something that you are interested in and something that you are interested in making a poster about for over the course of the next several several weeks. So I'm going to ask ChatGTP to generate the history of photography in 300 words. And I want you to, when you do this, to choose that 300 word option because that will provide plenty of content for us to be able to use in our posters. I also want to make sure that you choose a subject that will afford the opportunity to include images in your or graphics in your poster. So for example, the history of photography, I could get images of cameras or different kinds of photographs. Now I've done this several times uh, in preparation for this video, uh, more than you would like to know. <laughs> and I want Polaroid to be included in this history. And it usually doesn't put Polaroid in there. But I like to take pictures with Polaroids, and I, it's just an important part of the history of photography. So I'm going to ask it to uh, include Polaroid in the description. And I'm going to click Enter, and we'll see what happens. It always starts out with the same paragraphs, exactly the same. And so what's interesting is that we know that whoever is putting this in here is most likely getting very similar kinds of results. So here's a nice text here. We're going to get something that's somewhat interesting, but is nowhere near anything that we could actually learn much about the history of photography. Like I said, we're just using this as a way to get some default text. Uh, one thing that I am missing from here is some headings. We know from document design and poster design there are headings that are used. So I'm going to say, please add headings. You don't have to say please, but you are chatting with something and I'm being polite. <laughs> and here it is. Here are the headings. I don't like that it puts these colons in there. The bold is, is enough. The instant gratification of Polaroid. Commentary there. The other ones don't have any commentary. This one just has instant gratification of Polaroid. It's pretty funny. Now I can ask it to use a title. If I want, I could say please add a title. And this is taking some time to generate. Or it just is giving me the title right there, which is nice. I realized it didn't have to present everything. In the past, it's actually given me the whole thing beyond. So here we have a history of photography uh, from, from Nietzsche to Polaroid and beyond. And we have some nice little subheadings. We are now going to be using this content for our uh, poster poster design and if you're not happy with anything that it has uh, presented you can say like uh, remove dates from the headers and you see look at that it does that 
and you don't need to use the colons in your design work and, and, and of course but this is just going to be giving us a snapshot into what is is going on here you might want to uh, ask it to add a blurb under the title And now there's a little blurb here, which if you wanted to use, you could. So now we have plenty of content. What's nice is that the content or the chats that you create are usually saved in this area over here on the left. And if you wanted to, you can edit the title. You could also copy the content of this and paste it into a Word doc or a Google doc, which I might recommend you do just in case something happens and it does get lost. Uh, but this tutorial is going to continue when we start. I'm going to show you how to set up Canva and move this content into Canva to start working on your posters. Okay. If you do have any questions, let me know.